The change is sending a very clear message to Dr. Eric French. Don't shoulder it more than you have to. Come get some help. Dr. French is a veteran. 13 Foxtrot Board Observer in the Field Artillery. Now he's a specialist in mental health care for military and first responders and is hoping to see an influx of people after the VA's announcement. It's a unique demographic, and I think... Many people can't quite handle the level of trauma that we listen to on a regular basis. As of this week, eligible veterans can get free emergency care during an acute suicidal crisis. They can get care at a VA or non-VA facility, and it would cover things like transportation costs and even longer-term care without the veteran worrying about a bill. And we're hoping that at minimum, this information can help veterans realize that not only you know is their emergency care important, but that there's something waiting for them on the other side. The other side could include as much as 90 days of outpatient care that would be free. But the non-emergency care wait times at the Rocky Mountain Regional VA Medical Center is 43 days for new patients and nine days for current patients. And at the PFC Floyd K. Lindstrom VA Clinic, the largest VA facility outside of the Denver metro area, it's a 31-day wait for new patients and 16 days for current patients. Always hiring more and more providers we are always expanding. But the VA didn't have the specifics at the time of this interview. And those wait times for the long-term care is a concern. A temporary follow-up, even if they aren't um, established with care, because the VA does recognize that we cannot just release people and expect things to be better. The highest comorbid diagnosis with trauma is a substance use disorder. I worry about that, that population. Like, I was that population. And so... Um, yeah, it's just nice to see that this is that's such a clear message like, hey, we need to do right by you guys. And it's because of those wait times that Dr. French said it is so important that people can now get help both inside and outside of the VA system. It's simple. They have more options, so they have a better chance of getting help as quickly as possible. VA expects there's going to be some issues with bills, so they said that when you call them, they've actually set up a system to expedite those concerns so that a veteran isn't spending too much time sorting out their bills. They are focusing on their health and getting better. Wait time for inpatient care inside the VA versus outside? Yeah, I mean, we've heard so many nightmares. We've talked about it so much on the show across multiple systems, how difficult it is. The VA said what they do is they work within their entire system to get people in so that there shouldn't be a wait time, right? It's a pretty big system. It does mean, though, that some veterans could be transferred to a hospital outside of their community. They may even have to go out of state. The VA tries to keep mm -hmm. people as close to home as possible, but that's not always possible. Sure, we certainly know that there are a number of vets from outside Colorado who seek care here because yeah. we tend to have the capacity when our neighboring states yep. don't necessarily. All right. Thank you, Nusha.